Good day. Uh, my name is Arne Tobias Oedegor. Uh, I will be presenting the paper Verifiably Extractable One-Way Functions and Their Applications to Subversion CR Knowledge, a paper accepted to AsiaCrypt 2021. My co-authors are Prasudi Fauzi, Helger Lipma, Jano Sim, and Michal Simons. So I'll start by giving some intuition about the setting we're, uh, we're in and the problems we're trying to solve. Um, so non-interactive proofs is a nice primitive to have in cryptography. Um, so we're in a setting where the prover cat, uh, who knows the statement uh, X, as well as some private inf uh, witness W, uh, which certifies that X is a true statement, wants to convince the verifier white cat uh, about the truth of this statement without revealing its, wit it, its witness uh, to the uh, white cat. Uh, so the, what we would like to do is that the um, prover cat, you know, calls some algorithm proof uh, on, you know, the statement and the witness and outputs a proof pi and sends this to the verifier cat. The verifier cat can then check, you know, is this uh, proof I should accept or reject using some verify algorithm. And uh, so we want this uh, system to have some desirable properties, uh, namely completeness, soundness and zero knowledge. So completeness is saying that, uh, you know, if the prover cat is behaving honestly, uh, so it creates, uh, you know, a valid proof, um, you know, from the statement and the witness, then this should be accepted by the verifier cat. Um, soundness that states that, okay, if uh, the prover cat is being dishonest, so it's trying to prove something that's not true, then this should not be accepted. And zero knowledge is finally saying that uh, the proof reveals uh, nothing more than the fact that the statement is true, uh, and importantly, does not reveal anything about the witness um, used. Now, sadly, this does not exist in the plain model. It's a non-impossibility result. Uh, so you need to bypass this somehow, uh, and one way to do this is to work in the CRS model, or Common Reference String Model. So this is a model where the prover and the verifier share some common reference string, generated by a trusted third party uh, and use this to, you know, do the proving and the verification uh, of their, um, of the statement. Uh, so then you can get non-interactive zero knowledge or NISIC in the CRS model. Uh, and note that, yeah, uh, so in this case, we can actually achieve completeness, soundness and zero knowledge as long as the uh, third party that generated the CRS was behaving honestly. Uh, now, uh, so this relies on a trusted third party, but they do not really exist in the real world. So can we, you know, in case, uh, you know, the third party is not trusted, you know, it's some, you know, good for nothing cat that, uh, you know, is in conflict with the other two cats. Um, is it still possible to, that we can achieve some guarantees? Uh, so that is the sort of basis of uh, our paper. So what can we now achieve, uh, you know, if we allow for the CRS to be subverted by this uh, third party? So if we require that both soundness and zero knowledge should remain uh, in the case where the CRS is subverted, aka we have properties of subversion soundness and subversion zero knowledge, this is impossible. And similarly, if we uh, just one subversion soundness, but ordinary zero knowledge. So we let the zero knowledge property uh, go if uh, the CRS was subverted. This is still impossible. Uh, it is possible to get subversion soundness and a privacy preserving property uh, known as subversion witness indistinguishability, which is essentially saying that okay, even if the CRS is subverted, no adversary can tell um, two proofs of the same statement, but with different witnesses apart. Um, so we will not focus on that in this paper. Our focus will be on subversion zero knowledge and soundness. So if the CRS is um, maliciously generated, um, even in this case, the zero knowledge property should remain. The soundness property will hold if the CRS was honestly generated, but will fail uh, or might fail if the CRS is maliciously generated. And so the key question of our paper 
uh, is uh, under which assumptions can subversion zero knowledge be achieved? That is the fundamental question uh, that we try to answer in this paper. I'll now give a slightly more proper definition of subversion zero knowledge in physics. So it consists of five main algorithms uh, and has three main defining properties. So the algorithms are um, a generate CRS algorithm, a prove algorithm to prove statements, verify algorithm to verify statements and proofs, uh, a verify CRS algorithm to verify that the CRS is of the correct form, and a simulate algorithm, um, which is part of the um, mathematical definition of zero knowledge. Uh, it's an algorithm which is able to create um, sort of real looking proofs uh, based on knowing just the statement, um, but also some additional information like a trapdoor, but importantly, not the witness to the statement. Uh, the, the defining properties are completeness and soundness we've seen before. Uh, subversion zero knowledge is the new one here. So this is saying that, okay, so suppose there is some cat which generates the CRS, then there should be, uh, it should be possible to extract by examining this cat, uh, a trap door that you can use to simulate proofs that should look um, indistinguishable from real proofs. Uh, so again, the uh, simulator does not know the witness and so the and the, and the proof uh, outputted by the simulator looks like a real proof. So the real proofs cannot depend on the witness uh, in any sort of um, serious way. So that brings us uh, brings me to our contributions uh, in this paper. So we define a new primitive, which is a variant of an old primitive. So it's a verifiably extractable one-way functions. Uh, we give some constructions of this primitive, so show how uh, constructions in the literature satisfy our definition. Uh, and then we construct some CK NISICs from this uh, verifiably extractable one-way functions or VAYOFs. Uh, not, not just from this, we require some additional primitives. And finally, we construct uh, VAYOFs from some CK NISICs under certain conditions. Uh, so we really show that there is a strong connection between uh, VAYOFs and sub CK NISICs. So VAYOFs are, um, you know, very tightly related to the assumptions needed to have security of a sub CK NISIC. Okay, uh, I'll now define uh, verifiably extractable one way functions. Uh, so a function f is a VAYOF if it satisfies the following three properties. So it should be one way. So given an image of the function, it should be hard to output a pre image of uh, the function. Um, or pre-image of that image under the function. It should be extractable. So if an adversary outputs an image of f, there exists an extractor uh, which outputs a pre-image of y. Uh, and this extractor should have access to the adversary and its uh, inputs and auxiliary inputs. Uh, so uh, if we just have these first two conditions, uh, we have the extractable one-way function which is uh, um, known, a known construct or known primitive in the literature. Um, like it dates back a long way. It was formalized by Canetti and Ekdok. Um, so we add on the final condition that uh, of image verifiability. So it should be efficient to check if uh, some Y belongs to the image of F or not. Uh, and it should be publicly checkable based on yeah, only public information, no secrets. Uh, and we have some constructions of the uh, So we have constructions you know, in a restricted model, but then you can use uh, delegation schemes um, and some clever ideas. Uh, so this is based on work by Bitansky, Kinetti, Panet, and Rosen in 2016. Um, it turns out that their construction of an extractable one-way function turns out to be verifiable as well. Um, we can... Uh, uh, get uh, payoffs from knowledge of exponent assumptions with pairings. Um, so if f of x is equal to, you know, g to the x and g to the x squared, um, a, there is a knowledge uh, assumption which says that the only way to do this is essentially to know x, aka, you know, if any um, 
adversary outputs a tuple of this form, uh, then there must be an extractor which can output uh, x, the, so the pre-image of the function. And the pairings, uh, so if you have symmetric pairings in this group, uh, you can actually uh, verify that the um, a tuple is of the correct form. Um, knowledge sound NISICs uh, are another way to get uh, verifiably extractable one-way functions. Um, so, okay, this is um, not quite correct, but the idea is that the function you know, takes some statement and some witness and outputs a proof uh, of this statement and this witness. Um, and here you rely on NISICs with an additional stronger soundness property known as knowledge soundness, which is essentially saying that in order to produce a valid uh, proof, you must know uh, a corresponding witness. Um, and the verification here is done by um, the um, verify algorithm that's in the uh, in the NISIC itself. Uh, and the one-way property holds because of uh, zero knowledge. And finally, we have a sort of neat heuristic uh, signature schemes. So the idea here is that uh, if, if someone is able to create a valid signature, they should really know the secret key. Uh, now, it turns out not to work in a certain number of cases. Um, like, it, you can see that it's, it's not possible to, to do the extraction. Uh, but in certain other circumstances, this uh, it seems to give a reasonable uh, candidate uh, for a verifiably extractable one-way function. So this is not provable uh, based on concrete provable assumptions. This is more of a heuristic to create um, candidate uh, payoffs. It's time to see how we can connect sub CK NISICs and payoffs. Uh, so we give two generic constructions of sub CK NISICs. Uh, so we achieve the same sub CK property as BFS 16, Postbar 18, and ALSZ 21 from any payoff. Uh, so we have a generic construction based on generic assumptions, uh, which uh, in our view better highlights uh, which assumptions are really needed in this case, as opposed to the concrete constructions uh, of these three papers. Not that there is anything wrong with those constructions, um, but for, for our purposes, we think that um, our, our construction adds, um, adds some value. Uh, so uh, our constructions follow as fairly straightforward approach, so they use the FLS approach, which is uh, that you add an image Y of a V of F to the CRS, and then you prove uh, with witness indistinguishability that you either know a witness to the statement or you know a pre-image of Y. Since uh, given just Y, it's hard to find the pre-image. Uh, any like successful prover should know uh, a witness. And similarly, for the subversion zero knowledge, um, if, since the CRS generator was able to output an image Y of uh, F, uh, the extractor can extract uh, a pre-image and use this as a simulation trapdoor. And here it's important that um, we have the image verifiability because we need to verify that the CRS is correctly formed. Um, so if we did not have this, um, we would not achieve subversion zero knowledge. Uh, yeah, so both constructions follow this uh, uh, follow this approach, uh, but with uh, some slight tweaks. And then finally, uh, we show that the CRS generation algorithm of a sub CK NISIC is a way off. Now, note this is under certain assumptions uh, on the uh, uh, on the NISIC. Um, they, we will not get it in all cases for all languages, but uh, for, for a large class uh, of uh, sub CK NISICs, the serration generation algorithm is a way off. That brings us uh, to the conclusion. So, what did we uh, what did we learn today? Uh, so, the paper defines the new primitive uh, verifiably extractable one way functions. We show how to construct this primitive from various assumptions. And we show uh, how this primitive relates to subversion zero knowledge NISICs. Now, there are a number of open questions left. Uh, here are just two of them. 
other other uses of payoffs? I mean, you've used it for some CK NISICs. Are there other uses um, uh, where this would be interesting? And can they be constructed from other assumptions? So yes, we have some constructions uh, from some assumptions. Are there other ones out there? Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more details, please read the full paper over at ePrint.